still here? It's the bye week. It's the, the weekend of the bye week. We've already made like all the all the content. There's how could you possibly still want to be digesting Cowboys content during the weekend of, of the bye week? Okay, well, if that's what you want, I'm gonna do it my way. So welcome to Ask the Boys. Presented by Rico's. Yeah, I know the bag's crinkling. I don't care if it sounds bad. Ah, thrilled to be here. All right, you guys got questions? I'm going to answer them. Perfect question, Chad. Encapsulating the debate around the Dallas Cowboys perfectly. He says, if the Cowboys end up with the number three overall pick, what kind of haul would they get in return to move back into the 10 or 12 range? It's a great question, even if the season is only half over, and even if I feel pretty confident the Cowboys won't draft in the top three, I'll still answer it. There's actually recent precedent for this. Back in 2016, the Tennessee Titans bailed out of the number one overall pick. They gave it to the Rams, who drafted Jared Goff. The Rams had to give up their first, two seconds, a third, next year's first, and next year's third to get up into the number one spot for Goff. So... Purely answering the question, they could get quite a haul. Obviously, the details are a lot more important than that. Is there a quarterback needy team that'll be drafting in the 10 to 12 range? Is there a team that'll want to come up and get that? Will the coveted quarterback still be there at number three overall? Seems like a pretty good guess that Trevor Lawrence and Justin Fields are going to go one, two. So I don't know how realistic that is. It's hard to project draft order with seven games left in the season, let alone who might want to trade for those picks. But I get where your head's at. I'm going to go ahead and say that seems unlikely for a variety of reasons. I bet the Cowboys pick in the top 10, but not the top five. That's my way too early prediction for you, Chad. Thank you for the question. Moving on to a question from Brandon. We've, we've mentioned that Ask the Boys is sponsored by Rico's Nacho Cheese products, right? We've done that? Okay, cool. Just in case. Uh, Brandon wants to know, what does the coaching staff see in Terrence Steele that we don't? One of you other jackals asked if Terrence Steele was related to the Jones family um it's the bye week like Terrence Steele doesn't need to be catching strays on his weekend off okay let's let's chill but I will attempt to answer the question sincerely I think we would all agree it's been a trial by fire for Terrence Steele since the coaching staff decided he was the starting right tackle hasn't been pretty don't really understand the stubbornness to keep playing him myself but if I had to guess at the coaching staff's answer it's that one They don't have their starting tackles, clearly. Two, they, for whatever reason, see some potential in him, and the only way to bring that potential out is reps on reps on reps. So if I'm looking for a silver lining for him struggling, if you keep him at right tackle, you keep your interior three of Zach Martin, Tyler Biotish is hurt, but when he's back, Tyler Biotish and Connor Williams, you let them grow together. And if he gets a whole season's worth of reps, maybe Terrence Steele can have a leg up and be a viable swing tackle for you in the future. I'm not saying I think that's a great idea, but if I had to guess, I bet that's the coaching staff's attitude about it, and that is why Terrence Steele keeps playing. Thought he held up pretty well against the Steelers, for whatever that's worth. Looking for silver linings here. Don't really care if you buy it or not. It is where we are, and and that's all I have to say about that. (laughs) <laughs> Rasta Al Ghul, just an amazing, what a name, says, How many cowboy players believe the moon landing was fake? So you're trying to tell me you think we've got a Kyrie on the roster. Um, I have no idea. Hopefully the answer is zero. You know, you know, we, we have photography from space. I think an astronaut just got elected to Congress, if I've been paying attention properly. Hopefully none, but... If the locker room is a cross-section of society, there's probably one crazy guy in there. I mean, there's got to be at least one. Uh, I don't want to name any names because that would be rude, but somebody in that locker room got some wackadoo opinions about the moon landing. I feel confident. Finishing it up with a happy question because this is a happy show with happy vibes. Uh, my boy Mike says, is Donovan Wilson a starting safety for the Cowboys in 2021? I can answer that sincerely and snarky. The snarky ways, yes, because we know they're not going to spend a lofty draft pick on a safety anyway. (laughs) But the real answer is still probably yes. Xavier Woods is going to be a free agent. 
in 2021. You got to figure out what to do there. Even if they draft a guy, there's another safety spot. We know they don't love to spend big money in free agency. So it stands to reason Donovan Wilson will be one of the best two or three safeties on the roster next year. He'll probably have to compete for it. I, I tend to doubt he'll just be penciled into the starting role. But yes, I think he's got a very good chance to be a starter in 2021. He's looked very promising with his opportunities. Maybe, maybe they'll spend a top 50 draft pick on a safety. I think I would do a backflip. But until then, yeah, Donovan Wilson, I see you, buddy. Thanks for watching Ask the Boys, presented by Rico's. I'm going to go take my weekend off. Thanks for watching.